one wall, one brick, and a belt, a mat, some sunshine, almost. Sit tall, lift the chest. start with three arms today just to join in with the traffic and to join in tune in to your own inner voice your heart to your head, bow your head to your heart, release the hands down, raise your face, open your eyes, oh, that's come out bright, okay, so let's start with modified sun salutes, as this is the weather, this has just come out, I'll turn my back to you. We raise the arms up, stretch up, and then bending the knees if you need to, place the hands to the floor, draw the head in. Have the legs straight if you can. Inhale, look forwards. Step back with your right leg, dog head down. Stretch back. Good stretch back on the legs. Look forwards, step forwards with your right leg, look forwards, exhale fold, head in, bending the legs if you need to, look forwards, raise the arms up, look up, lower the arms down, raise the arms up, Fold, look forwards, step back with your left leg, dog head down, stretch back, pull back those hips, stretch back those hips, look forwards, step forwards with your left leg, look forwards, bending the legs if you need to, fold in, Raise the arms up, Advahastasi. Lower the arms down. Raise the arms up, stretch up, fold, hands to the floor, head in, bending the legs if you need to. Look forwards, step back, right leg. Stretch back, dog head down. Look forwards, step forwards, right leg. Look forwards, tighten the kneecaps. Exhale, bend the knees if you need to, head in. Uttanasana. Raise the arms up, stretch up, lower the arms down. Tadasana. Raise the arms up, stretch up, fold. Exhaling, hands down. Look forwards, extend. Step back, dog head down. Stretch.
stretch back. That was the left leg, by the way. Look forward, step forwards, left leg. Look forwards, right leg follows, Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, forward bend. Raise the arms up, stretch up. Exhale, lower the arms. Now, because I'm facing away from the wall, I'm gonna turn around. Place the hands down, about a foot away from the wall, and step back, dog hit down. Good stretch back. Look forward, walk in, and bring the weight down into your hands. Weight down into your hands. Press them down and then step back, dog head down, keeping that pressure down. Stretch the thighs back, lengthen the toes, dog head down. Step forwards, left leg. Both hands pressing down onto the mat. Good pressure. So tip forwards until it feels like all the weight is in the hands. Bend the legs if you need to. So we're just getting the hands used to taking the weight and then step back. Now we're gonna try handstands. So you walk forwards, get the weight in the hands, make sure they're planted into the ground very well. And then when you're ready, kick up with your right leg. Stretch up, lift up, relax the head and scrub the heels up the wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch up a little bit more. Pressing down into those hands. And then lower the right leg down slowly. Come down as controlled as possible. Step back, dog head down. Press the hands down strongly but lift the arms away from the hands so the elbows feel like they're lifted. Arms feel strong and long. And then step forwards, left leg. Stand in a, in a almost like an Uttanasana. And then when you're ready, you're gonna take the opposite leg. So now it's the left leg you're gonna try and kick up with. Stretch up. Stretch up, stretch up. Now if you take the feet apart, you might find you get a little bit of extra oomph to your lift and then bring the heels back together and think about really rubbing those heels up the wall. Five, clench the but or contract the buttocks. Four, lengthen the arms. Three, two, one. Exhale, lower the left leg down, letting the right leg follow with control. Step back, dog head down. Stretch back your hips. Stretch back the legs. Arms long, legs strong. Bend the legs, big toes together. Rest the head down. Take some breaths there. Relax the eyes, release the tongue. Okay, come up, stand up. Turn to face the long end of your mat and do Prasarita Padatanasana. Feet apart, kneecaps lifted. Lift the chest, look up, hands on your waist, press the hips down, tailbone down, legs strong. Fold forwards, placing the hands to the floor, lifting the chest forwards. And then exhale, fold. Walk the hands back, pop the head to the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. Relax the neck. Lengthen it down towards the floor. Take the back of the head down away from the neck to feel 
that the neck lengthens more and more. Inhale, look forwards. Walk the hands forwards. Hands to waist. Lift the chest. Inhale, come up. Moving your hair off your eyes. Stretch out the arms. Lift up the chest. Legs together. Okay. So, this is how I'm talking to you. Um, you're either going to do that last pose again, okay? So that's Prasarita Padottanasana. Or if you practice um, head balance, then get yourself ready for head balance, okay? I'm just going to stop this from making so much noise. Put my shoes on it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do headstand. Um, just a straight headstand. We're not going to be there for very long, a minute or so. So, you can use the wall for your feet. Um, I've got a very thick mat, so I'm not actually going to fold my mat back, but I recommend you getting a blanket or folding your mat back in four if you've got one of those thinner mats. I'm going to tuck myself in. Press the arms down, so you interlace the fingers, the forearms press down. Take the crown of the head into the gut between the hands, walk yourself in. You can come up with both legs or with one leg. Raise yourself up into your head balance. Shoulders lifted. Legs strong. Back of the neck long. Smooth, even breathing. Gripping those legs and stretching the inner legs up towards the ceiling. Hips gripping. Inner knees lengthening up. Shoulders away from the ears. Lift up, lift up. Shoulders are up. Shoulder blades up towards the waist. Center of the forearm pressing down. So you're making space from the shoulders, from the floor to the shoulders. Picture two arrows going up to the shoulders, two arrows going up the sides of the waist, one arrow going from the midline of your legs right up into the toes, lift up. Take the tailbone in and work those thighs back. one leg at a time, whichever feels most comfortable. Bend the legs. Sit yourself down on your heels. Rest your head on your hands. Take some breaths. Shoulders back. Neck long. You should feel like a tortoise just coming out of its shell. kneeling. You can sit on your heels if it's comfy or put it, sit on a block or sit between the feet. Stretching those toes back. Interlace the fingers, push the palms away, raise the arms up. Shoulders down, chest lifted, tailbone down. Ribs in, don't let them poke forwards too much. Mine have, there we go. Lower the arms down, change the interlace, push the palms away, and stretch up one more time. And then lower the arms down. We 
we're going to do three poses. Okay, we're going to do Subta Padangastasana 2, Utita Trikonasana, and then Utita Hasta Padangastasana. And if that means nothing to you, just smile and nod. Because <laughs> I've only got the brick, I'm going to use this to support my hip. I've got the wall, so I'm going to put my foot in against the wall. We're going to start with the right leg. So if you've got a foam pad that's much more comfortable or a rolled blanket, you can hold the toe or you can put a belt around the foot. But you'd hold the belt with one hand. I'll take the toe. Left arm stretches out, right, this might actually be a bit high, right leg stretches out to the side. Open up the sole of the foot, open up the palm of the left hand, make like a starfish. So stretch from uh, middle finger on that hand to the toe of that top hand, open up the chest, make space, breathe, press that foot into the wall. So the left foot's pressing into the wall, right foot is stretching into the big toe, left hand is stretching out. You know what we could do? We could, we could zhuzh it up a bit by taking the leg across and adding in a paravritta and a rotational utita hasta. Shall we? Yes. I can hear you say it. <laughs> so now let's bring ourselves to Supta Padangastasana 1, swap hands, stretch your right arm out and take the leg across. Now be, be gentle, you'll feel a length through here. Don't let yourself collapse the inner legs onto each other and keep the stretch through from the inner knee up to that big toe. Breathe. Keep the length in both sides of the body. Come back to centre. Bring both hands to the foot or both hands to the belt. Draw the leg towards you. Press the straight leg into the wall. If you want a little bit of extra work, you can take your head to the leg. Lower yourself back down and lower the leg down. Done. Second side. Raise your left leg up. Take the bell to hold the foot with your toe. Strong legs. Take the left leg out to the side. Stretch out to that right arm. Really point from the inner leg right to the mound of the big toe, but draw the outer knee back in towards the hip on that left leg. Keep the right leg strong, pressing into the wall, open up the chest. Relax the eyes, release the tongue. through that leg there. It's kind of, if you just took that leg, just a bit of your own information, brought the other leg up and brought it across, the leg would be doing similar work to Jatara Paravatasan, the long legged rotation. Draw the leg back, swap hands. Okay, so I call this air guitar pose. You can add any track you want to it. I've got living on a prayer. <laughs> Open the sole of the foot. Obviously any track by Brian May you could have in your head too. And many other guitarists. Open the soles of the foot. If you're into Spanish guitar, Gypsy Kings. Wide across the chest, breathe. Bring the leg back to centre. Now look, my foot has come away a little bit, so I'm going to wriggle in just a bit to make good pressure there. 
Hold the foot, Suttapad Angastasana 1. Shoulders back. If you want to add a little bit of extra work, exhale. Bring the head towards the leg and the leg towards the head. See if you can smell your leg. Shoulders away from the ears. Lie back down. Lower the leg down. Roll onto your side and sit up. Okay? So we've got Trikonasana and we've got reverse Trikonasana to come. So come to Tadasana. Raise the arms, jump the legs wide. You're going to go to your right. So turn the left foot in a little, turn the whole of the right leg out to 90 degrees. Exhale, go down. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, look up towards the palm. Breathe. Keep the back legs really strong, keep the kneecaps lifted and keep equal pressure in the soles of the feet. So not too much weight on the front of the foot or on the heel. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forward, stretch out. Turn the right toes in a little, turn the whole of the left leg out to 90 degrees. Exhale, go down. Shoulders back. Look up towards your uh, right hand. Roll that left shoulder back, lift and lengthen the chest. Kneecaps lifted. The sun's quite bright, so I apologize for having my eyes closed. Extend to that middle finger. From the sternum, lengthen up to that middle finger. From the sternum, lengthen down to that lower arm. Legs nice and firm to support you. The firmer the legs are, the more easy it is to extend the spine. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards. Stretch out. And then jump the legs together. I'm going to spin around so that you can see the... No, I don't need to. Huh? That's so funny. I don't need to watch you. You just need to see what I'm doing. So let's stretch out. Let's do paravrita. <laughs> Raise the arms. Jump the legs. So, ah, oh, but you won't hear me. I am going to spin around. Stretch out, lift the chest, turn your left foot well in, take the heel out, turn the whole of the right leg to 90 degrees. So we've turned the hips and we've turned the trunk. Now put your hands on your waist, yeah, and rotate yourself so that when you get the hips level, exhale, fold forwards, rotate the upper body, keeping the hips gripping, stretch the arms down, open up the chest, breathe. Okay? You can, if you're wobbly, look down at your um, lower foot. If you can lengthen the spine, get the head in line with the spine, lift the chest towards the face, but keep the legs firm. So try and keep your um, left ear over your right big toe. Imagine you've got dangly earrings on, and you're trying to get the dangly earring to be the pendulum over your big toe, and then turn the head, look up towards your top thumb. Breathe, thinking about that ear being over your big toe. Inhale, come up. Stretch out. Open the chest. Turn the right foot well in. Take the heel out. Turn the whole of the left leg to 90 degrees. Drop the hands to the waist and bring the right hip forwards. Bring that right hip forwards till they come level. Then keep the legs firm. Press the thighs back, fold. Take the right hand down on the outside edge of that left foot. And you've got another dangly earring, or just a big earlobe over that right uh, left big toe. Right earlobe over the big toe. Turn the head, take the left arm up, lengthen the spine. Breathe, keep the legs firm, kneecaps tight. And use that arm, that lower arm, to turn the body more and more. If you're wobbly, look down. Make space across those arms. Legs super strong. Breathe. That sounded like a question. Breathe. <laughs> Inhale, come up. That sounded like a command. Stretch the arms out. Open the chest. Legs together. Okay? Subta Padangastasana. One. Two.
two, and then we're going to bring it across the body. Okay? So let's start. Raise your right leg. Raise your right leg up. Take hold of the big toe. Whoa! Start again. <laughs> I wobbled. Stretch the arms down. Lift up your right foot. Take hold of the big toe. Put your left hand on your waist to make that leg strong. Now stretch the leg forwards. Open up the sole of the foot. Lift the chest. Stretch your left arm out to the side. Take the leg out. Yeah, make like a starfish. Apparently it's a cluster of starfishes. I quite like that. No, sorry, not cluster. Constellation. That makes more sense. I like that better. Stretch into the mound of the big toe. You can use a belt if you need to. Come back to centre. Okay, so I said across the body, you're actually going to take the right arm forwards and take the left arm, sorry, left arm forwards to hold the foot, right arm back and turn the body, looking at that big toe to keep your balance. Legs strong. Come back. Hold the foot. And then release. I found wobbling. <laughs> I think I've got water in my ears from this morning. Lift the chest. Breathe. Let's try the second side. Pick up your left leg. Take hold of the big toe. Stretch the legs forwards. Using a belt or just holding with your hands. Legs nice and strong. Leg out to the side. Open the chest. Point the big toe away. Make the leg nice and long, shoulders away from the ears. And then come back to centre. Okay, right hand to hold the left big toe, left hand behind. Just stay looking at the big toe, but stretch that arm back and away. So we're doing like a Parabritta Trikonasana again here. You notice, you see? Legs long and strong. Breathe. Come back to centre, lift the chest, lower the leg down, and stand tall. Open up through the body. Breathe. Prasarita Padottanasana again. So step your legs wide. This time the hands are in Namaskarasana, so that's in prayer position behind your back. If you can't make prayer position, you can always make fists behind the back, or you can just keep your hands on your waist. All right? So, hands in prayer position. Lift the chest, look up. Exhale, fold forwards, lengthen through the spine. Pop the head down, shoulders away from the ears. Kneecaps tight. Press the palms together, look forwards, lengthen, pushing the baby finger into the hands, inhale and come up. Open the chest, stretch the arms out, legs together. Breathe. Okay. We're going to sneak up on our trikonasana, all right? Some of you might find this really helps. I found this really helped me. Okay, so we're going to do Prasarita Padottanasana, that last pose, but the hands are going to be down, and we're going to sneak up on it by going to one side and the other. If you need to take a brick or you need to take your shin, that's absolutely fine. If you want to put your hand to the floor, that's, that's great. Cupped fingers or flatter the hand, okay? So are you ready? Legs wide. Open the chest. Hands to waist, lift up. Exhale, fold forwards. Look forwards. Are you ready to sneak? Turn your left foot in a little. Turn the whole of the right leg. Don't turn it. Okay, keep walking around. Look at that foot. Now you can place your hand to the shin, or you can place your hand on the floor on the other side. 
turn the ribs away, lift the chest, raise the arm up. Exhale, come down, wiggle forwards, second side, right foot in a little, hold the left leg out whilst walking the hands around, left hand down on the outside edge of the right foot, stretch up, look up, trip and awesome. breathe, Lower the arm down, walk the hands around, lifting, lengthen forwards. Now stretch yourself forwards, good length of the spine, press the outer heels down, then walk the hands back in line with the feet, drop the head down, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, walk the hands forwards, jump the legs together, hands to waist, inhale, stand up. We're going to sit down and we're going to do Janushasana first. So I'm going to face this way, legs nice and strong. You're going to bend back your right leg and bring the heel into its own groin ideally. Okay, turn the body. Yeah, you're gonna exhale, or you're gonna fold forwards and take the foot. So fold forwards with your right hand and take the foot. I can't remember which leg I said. We've bent back our left leg, I think. So we're gonna take your left hand forwards. I think I'm now stop my rubbing. Lift the chest, lift and lengthen. Turn the navel towards the straight leg and then fold. Bring the other hand forwards, lengthen yourself over the leg, drop the head down, lift the shoulders away from the ears. If you can take the hand past the foot and you turn the palms out and hold the wrist of the bent leg side. Palms facing away, shoulders away from the ears. Levelize your shoulders. Relax the eyes and release the tongue. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale. Hands either side of the straight leg. Inhale, sit tall. Bring the leg back to Dandasan. Stretch out those toes. Lift up the chest. Bend back the other leg. Bring the heel into its own groin. Lift and turn the body towards the straight leg. So the navel's turning towards the straight leg. Exhale, fold forwards, take the foot. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen both sides of the waist. Widening the elbows, fold forwards, taking the head down. Turning the palms out. Hand of the straight leg holding the wrist of the bent leg. Rest the head down, levelize the shoulders, relax the eyes and release the tongue. Breathe, moving forwards, lengthening both sides of this back waist, keeping the abdomen nice and soft. Inhale, come up, exhale, both hands either side of the straight leg, push yourself back up with a nice straight spine and bring the legs to come forwards. Pull the butter flush out and back, Paschimottanasana, raise the arms up, exhale, fold forwards, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold over the straight legs. Keep the lift of the front of the body. So if you're 
having difficulty going down, just sit tall or sit up straight, okay? Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale. Hands either side, lift through the chest, pressing into the hands. And then release. Upper Vista, Konasan. So we're going to use Upper Vista Konasan to come into our, our Paravrita Chanu Shishasana. So you're starting with straight legs out like this, okay? And you're going to bend back. You're going to go to the right. So you're going to bend back your left leg. I'm mirroring you again now. So just so you know. And I want you to turn and look at your bent knee and admire it. But just be aware where your right foot is. And all you have to do to begin with is to just take your hand and find, locate your big toe. Don't, without looking, use your eyes at the back of your head. My mum always had eyes in the back of her head. And then inhale, come up. Turn back to face forwards, legs wide. Sit tall. Second side. Bending back your right leg. Turning to admire that right leg. And then taking hold of the left foot. And you're trying to get an nice evenness, a nice length through that uh, left side of the body as well as the right. And you found your big toe. And then release. Legs wide. Okay. First side again. So sit tall. Bend back the left leg. The heel is coming into the groin of the same leg. Okay. Listen to your knees. Make sure they're comfortable. Listen to your back. So you can turn and you look. Now with an exhalation, you go down and you take that foot. Yes? Or you now turn the hand and you take the foot. So the thumb is holding the front of the foot and the fingers are holding the sole of the foot. So the palm is facing up. You're looking at that knee and you're going to lift the chest and then you stop looking at the knee. So the spine becomes long and just take the arm, left arm up and stretch it over the head. Just ease the ribs into that idea of going over that straight leg. You can just stretch the arm away and then inhale, swing the arm up, feel like a sunrise and then take the leg out to the side. Ah, other side. There's nothing like a beautiful sunrise. Bend your right heel in, sit tall. Don't look at that foot, don't look at that left foot. Get it ready to catch, okay? Stretch your left arm out, exhale, turning the palm, thumb comes on the front of the foot, toes underneath, yeah? You can bend the elbow and rotate that body, lengthening the crown of the head away from the tailbone. Bring the right arm up and over and lengthen. See how much you can extend that arm. Yes, your buttock might come away from the floor a little bit, but just think about the direction of the buttock moving down and start to take the buttock down, but it doesn't have to stay completely planted. Need a little bit of freedom there. A couple of breaths. Easing yourself into that idea of going towards that straight leg, the straight leg foot. And then inhale, come up. Sit tall, legs wide. Now see how you feel, yeah? You can do either of the last two. The sun's got really bright now. You can do either of the last two, or if you want to rest and pose the child, you rest and pose the child. You, you have to take care of yourself. Okay, so now we're going to bend up the left leg. Bear in mind this is a twist. We're aiming. There's a beautiful picture of um, Gita, um, Gita Ji, uh, with her back sleeping. It looks like she's sleeping on this leg. So that's the, that's the idea I have in my head. All right, so with an exhalation, go down, take the foot. Inhale, lengthen and just let the body turn. So you're rotating, drawing the bent elbow towards, um, away from you, towards the front edge, that long edge of your mat, and then take the right arm up and over, and see if you can hold the opposite side of the foot, 
and see if you can turn that body more. Turn that body back, opening up the chest. Breathe. Power of Ritter, Janu Shishasana. Lengthening the crown of the head towards the front. And then raise the arm up. Lift and lengthen out like a sunrise. Sit tall with the spine and legs wide. Lift and lengthen, grip the hips in strongly. Second side. Bending back that right leg. Okay, we're going to try and balance out the rotation, so try and do it evenly on both sides. Exhale, fold down. So you're, taking, you're turning this thumb down, holding the front of the foot. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And I like to sort of draw my hand across my hip to remind my shoulders to go back. Yes? Gives me an idea with that rotation hand. Allow the elbow to come forwards. Let your body come forwards over that uh, left leg. Raise the right arm up and over. Hold the little toe side of the foot. Turn that body. Breathe. Lengthening the spine more and more. Feel like you're opening the chest and rotating the body around the spine. Breathe. Relax the eyes, release the tongue. Raise the arm up. Inhale, come up. And then stretch the leg out. Open up the chest. And then draw the legs together, sit in Dandasana. Grip those legs strongly, grip the inner leg strongly. Fingertips down, lift the chest. Now we'll try it classically from Dandarsan. Um, I shall face this way. Okay. Now you're going to draw your. So I'm going to go over the right leg first this time, I'm drawing back my left leg because I haven't quite got my head around mirroring this way round for some reason. So my left leg is drawn back. And you draw back your left leg too. Okay, so here we're going to exhale. So the body's facing this way already. So if we go forwards between those two legs and then you bend the elbow, bend the elbow and let the body roll onto that straight leg. So if you just want to watch here, you let yourself roll over, take the foot and then turn a little bit more. And hopefully you've accessed the pose just a little bit better or in a different way. So some people like one way, some people like the other way. Lengthen through the body, good rotation. And then raise the arm, use your right hand to push yourself up and sit tall. Okay, so I shall spin around the other way. You don't need to, you can stay on the same same place. Okay, and we're gonna sit tall, just let's get ourselves back in our dandasana. I'll get myself back in my dandasana. Now I'm gonna bend back the right leg, bring the heel into its own going. So the buttocks can move, they do move for paragritta. Sit tall, now we're gonna come forwards. Okay, stretch forwards and really make that left arm long. Really make it long, bend the elbow. As you bend the elbow, rotate the body, take hold of the foot. Yeah, so I've got already a good gap. I'm trying to take my shoulder on the inside edge of the knee, turn a little bit more, take the right hand over to hold the outside edge of that left foot, and turn the body, lengthening the spine as much as you can. Legs nice, that straight leg nice and supportive. Breath smooth. Might be a little bit faster here because of the rotation in the abdomen. Try not to let the neck become tight. It's because I was thinking so much. Breathe. And then raise that right arm up. Press through that left hand. Bring yourself back up and bring the legs back together. Dan Dawson. Grip the legs together. 
Let's do a, a legs together, dog head down. If you've got your brick, put it between your thighs. So here, brick is coming between my thighs. I'm gonna have my ankles together, bricks up nice and high. Grip the brick, lift the hips. Stretch those legs back. Hit those hips back. Work the thighs back. Pull the hips away. Really grip those hips in towards each other. So you want the hip bones, you want to think about them moving in towards each other. You do that by rotating the thighs in. And then come down. Put the brick like this on the floor and put your pubic bone on them. All right, you can rest either. If you've got tight wrists, you can rest on your forearms like this, or you can put your hands ready for Chaturanga Dandasan like this. Tuck the toes under, and then grip the tailbone down and work those legs. So we're pulling the sacrum back into a nice balance after that rotation. Legs firm, stretching those heels back. Roll the shoulders back. I'm not asking you to lift into your Chaturanga. Just, you're doing this for the sacrum and the pelvis. And then release. Go on to your elbows, push yourself back. We will do Chaturangasan. Hands flat, knees apart. You're gonna draw the shoulders away from the ears. So pretend that you've got yourself stuck in railings. <laughs> you should go forwards whilst the railings are holding your shoulders back. And then press the ankles down. That will firm the abdomen a little. Legs firm. Breathe. And then release. Okay. Keeping that length, stretch the crown of the head away from the tailbone. Do the same thing again. Make your spine as long as possible. So the chest feels open. They should feel very contained around the waist. And then release. Chatush Padasan. We're going to Chatush Padasan. So um, we're going to use the brick and then we're going to do Setu Banda if, if you can, if you're happy with that. Okay? So with the brick, legs bent, put the brick underneath your sacrum so you can go low, which is here, and you roll the shoulders back. And again, picture yourself holding the brick there between your thighs so that the, the hip bones here feel like they're moving towards each other rather than splaying out. Yeah, and that will keep the buttocks broad and your, the crease of your buttocks. So think about the crease of the buttocks from inside to out being like a nice smile. Yeah? And so if you say the word smile, it makes your mouth nice and broad. Try and say smile with a, with a nose like this. Don't turn your head in the pose. Okay, smile, it's not really a smile. So here, you've got smiley buttocks, big toes pressing down, but the hips are just resting on the brick. If this doesn't feel high enough for you, make sure that the shoulders are rolling from inside out, come onto the balls of the feet, lift the hips, and come up that little bit higher. Again, the tailbone is now on the brick, yeah? Smiley buttocks and stretch the heels down. Breathe, chest is nice and open. Relax the eyes and release the tongue. You can always put your feet high up on the wall as long as they don't feel like they're going to slip. Ideally, the feet are on the floor, but not. So you can have the, the legs down here again with the feet um, on the wall. All right. So you bend up the legs. 
support yourself so you can either have the brick low or high and then I'm going to stretch my legs away and feel like I've got a beautiful length from my heels right through to the crown of the head. Having the feet apart a little, but again make sure that it feels like the thighs or you know your thighs are rolling in. It might even help if you just turn those toes in a little to encourage that movement. Tighten the kneecaps and lift the chest so the spine feels like it's lengthening away from the tailbone and there's no compression in your lower back. If it feels like there's jamming in the lower back then please bend up the legs, see if that helps or come down lower if you, if you have the desire to have the legs straight. So it might be that the legs bent give you some, some relief, or you can find legs bent lower gives you relief, or you might find that legs bent straight gives you relief. We're, we're different creatures, our bodies are different, and it's about searching out your yoga practice and not, not ignoring the non-violence and truthfulness of the, the first sort of, of the yamas and the niyamas. Disciplines. And then bend up the legs, lift up the hips, and lower the legs down. Viparita Karani, legs up the wall. So take your bottom in. I'm lying on my right side, so I'm going to take my right buttock to reach the wall. And then I'm going to roll over onto my back. I've got this handy hook to pull myself in. Stretch those legs up. Again, if you want to add extra work, put a brick between your thighs and think about rolling those thighs in and drawing the groins down. Take the arms up and over the head and lengthen to your fingertips. Toes broad, soles the feet nice and open and be long. the toes, long arms, long legs, And then lower the arms. Release the legs. Roll onto your side. Come up. Shavasana. So we're just doing a quick Shavasana today. Why? Because hopefully you're feeling nice and energised after all of that. So just Gently roll yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae, making your spine as long as possible, having support underneath the backs of the legs where you need it, if you need it. Release the hands down, tuck the shoulder blades deep into the back. I like to have my hands resting off my mat. The legs nice and long, again, my heels also off my mat, especially if I'm on a wooden floor. It's good and grounding. 
inverter like me, then it's a nice way to, to ground yourself a little more. Relax through the abdomen. Relax the eyes. Release the tongue. And just take some smooth, long, slow, deep exhalations and inhalations. Slowly lengthening the exhalations. With each longer exhale, feel as if you're breathing deeper into the body and releasing the body deeper into the floor. your right side. Rest to the right side. Sit yourself up, come to Sukhasana. Opposite cross of the legs, go unnatural. Sit tall, Bringing my hands to Namaskarasana. Lift the heart to the head. Bow the head to the heart. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhuvantu. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Pay your respects to your body. Pay your respects to your teachers. Set your intention for the day. Release the hands. Raise the face. Let the eyes be soft as you open the eyes. Thank you. Have a super day. <laughs>